you got the phone call. Mm. December 4th. Yeah. 2007. Yeah. Walk us through that. Well, a few days before, we was in Ace Town at the High Rise. Mm -hmm. We had just left you. Thanksgiving. Yeah. And we went to the High Rise, UGK Posse. Uh, I like to give you boys your flowers, so I'm going to say your names. Blit. Nah. Uh, 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 DJ Beto, T O E, my young Ken Folk, Messiah oh, really? was there. R.I.P. Ivory P. R.I.P. Vicious. Shout out to my nigga Bundy G. Oh, the really? nigga 17 was there. Uh, Bankroll Jones was there. The nigga Corey Moe was even there. And we was just in there recording tracks. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And after we got done with that, he said he was going to. L.A. to go handle some business. And man, what he told us before he left, that was the first time that I felt my rap career was about to bust niggas in their motherfucking face even worse than it ever had before. Mm, what'd he say? He said he was going to get our chance, the UGK record pieces. Yeah. He was going to get that Magnum deal, them, 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 them Chryslers and the Magnum. Yeah. He was going to get a budget finally. Mm -hmm. We had start recording the UGK Posse project. Yeah. And a now nigga will tell you any different. The name of the project was the UGK Posse. We got the big, big nuts. Big kahunas. <laughs> yeah. You got the big kahunas. Niggas like to say, oh, he lying. But it's too many niggas who witnessed it. Oh, yeah, yeah. And he told us, he said, man, I'm going to come back with this bread. I'm going to be able to do this. I'm going to be able to do that. But I'm going to also get us about, uh, I forgot how many uh, press up he said he was going to do. And he said, y'all niggas have at that. Plus, I'm going to put some bread in your pocket. And he left. I went back to PA doing my regular do, doing business. And I remember I was two streets away from my house. And I was at the light next to the graveyard on my left. Mm. And my homeboy, Big Bub brother, DJ Mr. Three, he called me. And he said, man, I'm sorry to hear about your brother. I'm like, what the fuck you talking about? I'm thinking one of my brothers, you know. He like, nah, man, pimp died. I say, nigga, get on with that bullshit. And I hung up on him. And I called mama as I'm going through the light. Yeah. And when I got on the phone with mama, all she could say is, he gone, baby. That's what she did to me. He gone. That's exactly how she did me. Man, I'm already on the street that can go straight to her house on that uh, little revers you. Yeah, the reservoirs. Yes. I shot down there running through lights and all kind of shit. And I got to her house, man, and I walked in that kitchen, man, that glow I was telling you that was there when he came home. Yeah. That glow was dim than the motherfucker, man. Mm. And that woman grabbed me, man, and she cried for an hour. My T-shirt was wet from where she stood all the way down, mm. soaking wet. That was her baby. And I, and I held her. And then shit started falling apart, going hammer ever since. It's your girl, Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button, also press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm going to get some game tuned in with Super Tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos.